Hey, this is John with Tradecast, and thanks for joining me for this brief tutorial today. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to control your Tradecast Fresnel LED lights by using any standard uh, DMX512 controller, and also how to properly set up your Tradecast Fresnel LEDs to be controlled uh, via Daisy Chain DMX. First thing we're going to do here is plug in our lights, right? So we're going to turn the lights on by plugging in their AC cords here on the back. And as these lights start up, you're going to see that by default, they go to this menu on the interface that says INTE, which uh, looks confusing, but stands for intensity, like light intensity. So in this menu, we can use the manual control knobs to turn up the light, the daylight, and the tungsten. These are bicolor lights. So we can go ahead and just turn these up right here on the fixture, like so and just dial in whatever light we need like that. And you could see on the menu that the light output level, the level is changing as we turn those knobs. But what we're trying to do is wire this up for DMX control, studio control. So what we're gonna have to do is assign a DMX channel in order to do that. So let's start with this guy here. In order to do that, we're gonna use the menu button. And uh, what we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that we're on the intensity menu. Now, there are other menus that you can cycle through by, by using the plus and minus buttons when you're on the home menu screen. You can go through slave mode, uh, A00 mode, A01 mode. There's a lot of different modes that this light can function on. Uh, for our purposes, we're gonna be focusing on um, the intensity mode because that's where we assign our DMX channel. Uh, so first thing, we're gonna hit menu. Once we're on that home menu, we're going to hit menu until we come to D001. So currently, your light is assigned to channel um, 001 on the board, fader number one here, right? Nothing's plugged in yet, so it's not doing anything. But let's say we want to change that, right? We're going to set this one to D002, right? All we have to do is use the up and down plus minus buttons to pick any channel we want up to well, 512, DMX 512. Now, we're gonna go ahead and set this on D001 and leave it alone. And we're gonna go ahead and hit enter to save it. And now we're all set. Now, what we need to do is get this off of manual intensity mode and we need to set it to DMX control mode. So we go back to our home menu, we press up, pass slave to A00. Now it's ready to be controlled by this board. We're gonna repeat the process over here with uh, this bigger Fresnel light. We're gonna repeat the same thing by just going to, uh, well, we were already in our intensity mode, so we're already on the D001 section, but let's go ahead and just back up here. So here's our home menu, I-N-T-E. So we can go ahead and cycle through different modes here like we were talking about before. So we're gonna make sure we're on I-N-T-E. We're gonna hit menu until we come to D001. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this to a different channel so we can control them using different faders. Um, in this case, we're gonna set it to 003. Now, why are we gonna skip two? Because uh, these are bicolor lights. And the way that DMX works is uh, when you assign the starting channel, all the rest of the channels on the light will populate automatically and sequentially. So that means this is bicolor, it's two channel. So one knob controls one thing and the other knob controls another thing. Well, when that's on a DMX board, you're gonna have one fader controlling one thing and then the next fader controlling the other thing, right? So what'll happen is if you assign this to D001, it will automatically populate channel two for the other channel of the light. So in order to keep them separated, we need to assign this to three. And this one will get three, four, and so on and so on. Let's go back and make sure that yes, we were on D003. We're gonna hit enter to save, and we're all good. Time to plug it all in. Okay, now we're ready to plug everything in, and it's pretty simple. The first thing we're gonna do is just use a standard three pin XLR connector, just like so. In your situation, your board and your light are gonna be much farther apart than this, so this will likely be, your first run is usually gonna be pretty long. All you've gotta do is plug in the male end here to the female output on the back of your board, the other end of your cord all the way up to the input here on the light. Next, you're gonna take a cable and instead of running out of the output of the board, now, because you can daisy chain these, you can run out of the output here on the light itself. So we're gonna take again the male end of the cable and plug it in to the output on the light fixture. 
And now we can run the signal out of the light itself and down into the next light over here. So now we can hit the input of our second light in our chain. We're ready to go. Now we should be all set to operate these lights using our DMX board. So when I slide up faders one and two, remember this light is on fader one and then it auto populates the second channel to two. So if we slide up fader one, we get daylight output. If we slide up fader number two, we get daylight and tungsten, uh, 4400 Kelvin. Uh, and then if we slide down one, we're gonna get tungsten balance only. Now if we slide up fader three, we're gonna get daylight out of our other light back here. If we slide up fader four, we're gonna get tungsten and daylight. We slide down fader three, we're gonna get tungsten only. It's pretty simple. These are just two channel lights, daylight, tungsten balance, and you can control the mix of the individual lights with your faders like so. You can get any balance of light, of color, and intensity um, anywhere in between by using these faders, and these can be hung way up on a lighting grid, and you can still get precise control by daisy chaining and setting these lights up with one of these boards. Now notice, that these do not have to be assigned sequentially, uh, meaning our light here, it's our second light in the chain. So this is our first light in the chain, and this is our second light in the chain, and yet this is the light that's assigned to DMX1. It doesn't matter um, if this is lower on the fader than this one. It doesn't have to go in that order at all. All you have to do is make sure that they're assigned to the, the proper fader, and also that, uh, that they're all uh, sequentially chained together correctly. Now another question we hear often is can we have overlapping channels? And the answer to that is yes. So we can go ahead and uh, find our DMX assignment by navigating to the intensity menu and going to D. And we can set this one down to one so that it matches the, the other light here in the chain. We save it on channel one and then when we come back and put it on A00, so it's controllable there. We notice that both lights are now controlled in tandem by using the same two faders. Now this is really convenient for when you want to hang up lighting banks and you need groups, uh, large groups of uh, Fresnels or panels um, all grouped together operating in tandem. Um, if you're using different, different banks uh, of light, then of course you'd have them on separate faders all the way down, but you know, if you need a large group of lights, on one, uh, on one set of faders, you can of course do that by just putting them on the same channel. All right, so there you have it. Setting up these Draycast LED Fresnel lights for use with DMX is actually pretty quick and easy. Um, but if there are any questions that you still have that weren't answered in this video, feel free to call our office at 408-229-9222 and we'll be happy to lend a hand and help get you on your way. My name's John, thanks again for watching.